Dan here, DD Speed Shop. Just playing. It's Contractor Dan, the handyman with the plan. Got a three quarter ton Chevrolet Silverado. Got a bed full of wood and quick crate. I got some paint stained shorts with a tape measure on my hip. AKA I'm in mess around and find out mode. That's right, I am doing even more contractor work. That's all I do. I am a full time contractor at this point, guys. Y'all watched me last week come down here and uh try to tap on the ground where our mailbox should go and that old ground said hell no well i bet we get her whooped today back it up now y'all gotta get her right to the sweet spot right in there terrible at backing up no depth perception guys still ain't got it cold beer first thing in the morning <sighs> just playing ain't done that in a while this is some soda pop kind of thing ollie pop i don't know a new kind of soda it's supposed to be prebiotic, half good for your belly. They taste delicious. I don't drink anything with car carbonation anymore except these, and uh, I like my carbonation. Well, I think our hole is now deep enough. Uh, I dug this by hand, guys. Just a perfect little circle. Gosh dang it, contractor Dan. You forgot to get water. That's all right. We'll come back. And that's a pretty big hole there, guys. So I made sure to get at least 20 bags of quick creek where we can get it filled up good. All right. Can be one of them days, huh? Typical contractor. I forgot my bucket of water and I forgot uh, forgot my level. And we definitely want our mailbox to be standing pretty level. Now, luckily for y'all, I'm a pretty honest contractor, okay? So uh, you won't, that won't reflect on your bill. Uh, usually I'm about 150 an hour. Uh, if I'm having a drive to get something I forgot myself, I, I only charge you half, 75. It's an honest day's work, but someone's gotta do it. I could back up all the way to the Grand Canyon from here. I'm so good. Luckily this truck rides super smooth, so we'll only lose half this bucket by the time we get down there. Perfect. The contractor Dan, he's honest, okay? So when you get that itemized breakdown, you see where it says quick stop. Well, on this little trip here, I need to get me a Monster Energy and a breakfast sandwich. So y'all's gonna have to pay for that. We didn't lose too much water, did we? And gave the truck a free bath, bonus. Almost backed over that hole. Oh, real simple stuff here. This needs to go in here. It looks pretty low. Right there's pretty good. Just add your quick creek, we'll be good. The internet said a normal mailbox is about 41 inches above uh, the ground surface, which means, I don't know. I thought they said to bury two foot of this sucker. Right there's about two foot. So that's definitely too low. I don't know what happened to all the dirt that was in here. Uh, he didn't take it off nowhere. And this sure don't look like enough dirt to fill this all in. That looks a little better. Right at 40 inches. The next up is a good experienced contractor uh, like I am. You want to rob parts from your other contractors. So I have some concrete guys who's been doing a little side job here because I'm also a concrete contractor. I'm just so busy I ain't got time guys. Uh, so I robbed these from them. I robbed these because they got these holes in them and we can put a screw through them holes. Brought a two by four where we could build some braces and I brought us a saw where we could cut that sucker to length. Uh, I thought I'd forgot a battery, but I found it. I, I ain't that forgetful, guys. So we'll just kind of wing it. Screw that and then kind of turn the pole where I get it facing the way I want to face it. And then that way we know where to drive these stakes at. Now this two by four, it does the twist and spiral turn. And that's why I chose this one because it's a piece of crap, piece of wood. Barely even good enough to make a brace out of. Pretty dang level. Y'all didn't know I kept that pocket pro on me, did you? Only problem now is she's twisted. Uh, definitely needs to be more kind of this way. Yep. It's kind of twisted and tweaked on it. Uh, with the bottom being shoved in the dirt, 
it does kind of hold it where I can kick it back and forth. It is level now. It is running how I want it to run it. So now we need to add a support going the other way. Be sure to sit your gold screws down here on this yellow grass where they disappear. Kind of watching it level side to side there and uh, just kicked a little dirt in on the side that we need to help kind of hold it. Boom baby, drive in a stake and check it again. Right there's money. Give her a little wiggle wobble test here. She feels pretty good. Tell you what don't feel good. Look how wobbly that piece of crap is. Fix that wobble problem. <laughs> she don't wobble no more. She ain't perfect, guys, but I'm gonna call that GUD. I'm gonna call it good to go. What do we have right here, you ask? Right here, we got the sack crate. Uh, boy, and never mind. I was gonna say, when it gets these hot, humid summers, we make some sack crate around here, too, but we ain't gonna talk about that. Now, this is high strength concrete mix, about 60 pounds worth. Or for the people on the metric system, 27.2 kindergartens. <sighs> I'm going to take this baby right here and slice her open. Where's my thumbs up? Wifey verified. Give that a little spritzing of water. Kind of work that around. Uh, that crap's just holding water, guys, but we ain't had no rain here. And I don't know, since the last time I've complained on video about it raining, it's been a good minute. In fact, we can't even get our final dirt work done or nothing till we have some rain because it's just everything's too dry so i'm gonna throw a little water in there i know usually you don't have to you can leave the quick quick crate and the, it'll pull moisture from the ground blah 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 his old sketch dog right there and drug up most of that dirt i'm gonna pour out the rest of the water because why not we're level front to back we're money side to side. All we gotta do now is let that puppy set up today. <clears throat> Got a heavy load here. Ain't no way that's gonna make it all the way to the house. Oh crap, I forgot to put this thing in trailer mode. We're gonna burn up the transmission. I can still hear her back there, so she made it. Old Nate Dog helped me get all that quick creed out the back. Uh, we went ahead and slapped the crane on the trailer here. I'm going to strap it down. Get her strapped down. Some of y'all have asked who Nate Dog is. Nathan, that is my buddy's son. And uh, he's our helper with our merchandise. So, like yesterday was Monday. And we released the Box Truck Mafia shirts. And y'all are crazy. And y'all basically sold us out on them in three hours. And on top of that, our other shirts or whatever. So, Nate Dog helps us stay on top of that. He can be packaging. Uh, of course, we still do the uh, getting it. And he'll bring me the van back. And then I usually get up about six in the morning and take them to the post office. Uh, that way, they're not, they got all day to get done what we can get, what we can get to them. Because, I mean, we're a small town, so we're a pretty small post office. And uh, thank, thank, I'm thankful for them guys because, uh, yeah, we show up sometimes and make their lives hell. Uh, just flooding them with the packages. Uh, but it's usually only like that, like, I don't know, a few days, a month or whatever. I thought I had set the keys for the lock there, but I did not. So let's find them. We got to get hooked onto the trailer. We are going to be doing some compressor moving i do believe don't worry i found them trailer good to go one last thing before we leave i need to get a tool set what i'm also doing is trying to get the old house ready to put up for sale and i actually think we have a buyer in mind who is a uh, family friend i'm trying to fix some stuff where if this lady does buy it, she don't have to worry about it. Uh, I went yesterday and got a bunch of little touch-up paint. I did some patching, some fixing. Uh, mainly just for like shelves and crap around the walls that ripped paint off or whatever. And I started blending back all of that. I am hoping, like really hoping, the paint blends nice. Because if it don't, uh, it's going to be a mess. Because y'all know me. I didn't do no testing, okay? I... Uh, I painted a spot, 
And then I just got buck nasty and painted a lot of spots. Now I didn't get it all, but I got over half. So if it ain't blending, we're gonna be in not very good shape. And then I don't know if I'm gonna have to have the old house painted inside or what. I guess we'll see once we get there. Uh, now there's some furniture still left in there because we got like Ella's old bed that needs to be taken apart. KK uh, got a little bit bigger bed where she's not on a little baby bed anymore. And we've got most of our old furniture went to like family or friends. We had people in mind who wanted some stuff. And then there's some stuff that they didn't want. We've got some gentleman coming this morning to pick up some of it. Uh, he takes the stuff and gives it to families who are after a fresh start or something. So we got old house stuff to do because I need to get rid of that place. There ain't no sense in holding on to it. So we'll lock her down in here and we'll head over there and see what we can't get dead today. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got a lot of metal still at the old house we gotta get, at least on the trailer. Can't be giving up my good metal supply. Chaos, absolute chaos, I tell you. We get here, Slick 50 pulls up. He's gonna give me a helping hand today. And uh, a big rig pulled up here, guys. He's like, I got 250 pound pallet for you. Uh, I didn't order nothing. Come to find out O'Reilly's and AC Delco just sent me out a bunch of crap. Is that proper advertising? <laughs> they sent me a bunch of crap so we got it all loaded up where the big rig can get out of here now the gentleman who uh moves the furniture he showed up so we're gonna give him a quick helping load in hand i like his moving trailer you can move furniture you can move a goat you can move a bull you can move a horse whatever you need And y'all's probably thinking I'm lazy because I'm like, I'm gonna help them load and you didn't see me once. Well, that's because I was in there taking furniture apart, guys. Can't load it if you can't get it down the hallway. There's a couple smaller stools in there. Do you want them? So Sammy from St. Uh, St. Louis Salvage here, he showed up because uh, someone may uh, beat on their cluster in their Yukon trying to get it to work and it finally been beat on enough. I've only been whooping on it, love you, for about a year. Uh, so she was due for replacing, but he may have brought me a little gift. Look at that, guys. Well, that's awesome, Sammy. I appreciate it. He uh, he did us a little blue patainer tailgate, some little wood tops I can see here, clear coated her up for us. Uh, we're gonna have us a sweet bench for our, uh, our shop. And actually, tomorrow is gonna be organized and situate the new shop so uh perfect timing but yeah guys this thing is sweet he even protected the clear coat with the old uh, fail pro gasket box for us top of the line just getting all kinds of decorating stuff today i just told slick i'm like i'm like a general contractor of life guys since we've been here, I've mounted one toilet paper holder, I think, in the bathroom. Slick's been working away painting. I've dealt with four people in person and like four on the phone just trying to get stuff going. Crap that's got to be in play for like getting the carpet going. Uh, we got some tile to fix in there. Uh, some merch stuff. And it's just like two and a half, three hours of talking to people or getting getting their something going but just not actually getting work done but about, we're, we're about to get some work done because right here uh you can see before someone tried to do some cracking wall repair they did it incorrectly this stuff will fix your wall guaranteed you just gotta actually get it in there guys you can't just do it down here now, obviously this ain't really gonna fix nothing uh but i didn't even buy this for this job i had this left over i just seen it in the van earlier so that's the only reason I even knew I had this. And it will at least kind of keep draft and rain out, maybe. And I told Slick we should have moved all this heavy stuff before it got hot, but he done made him a paint cup and he don't want to clean out his brush or nothing. So he wants to go until his paint cup runs out. So he's still in there painting away. She's practically good as new. <laughs> Practically airtight. <laughs> it's practically falling over. So next, we're gonna try to figure out how to get the uh, compressor over to slicks. We're gonna start with disconnecting our premium system, air system. 
killer breaker where we can then uh, drain the air out of here. We're gonna go drain her. Uh, I ain't drained the bottom of this sucker in a minute, so she probably full. Should just be a little valve you can turn with your hand. I did not bring a pipe wrench and I meant to and I should have. This will throw it off of there, but then we're gonna have to pull that straight through. <laughs> Be my luck, a leg still going through and gets me. See that right there? Exposed wires from a not so good strip job. I wonder who could have done that. <laughs> Boom. We'll take this to Slicks. That way he has plenty of cable to wire it in as well. Yep. You want to zip tie your cable to your hard pipe. I wonder if, how did I do that? I done punched a hole through that sucker. So we're going to have to get this unthreaded from here and get that pulled out somehow. Damn genius figured this out. Well, well, well. What in the metal sawzall blade do we got here? I'm gonna just saws all this sucker. Uh, probably wherever we could get to. Maybe right back in there. These little things act good for water traps. That's why I added a couple. I had enough stuff to do that. So that's what I did. That's one way to do it. I was like, we make saws all back there because all them traps are good for water traps, blah, blah, blah. All right, now we can flip this thing up off there probably. I wonder if we could just saws all them nuts off too. That's put the nut off. It. <laughs> <laughs> She's free. Slick said he just wants to back the dovetail up to it. Me and him both lay it on there and then just roll her around and. Should work. All right. If he ain't afraid to lay it on its side, I ain't neither. Thought we were gonna see a possum. <laughs> <laughs> see the old wagon wants to fire up. First thing we're gonna actually load up is our jukebox. You gonna play that for us on guitar? Nah, that's a little too country for me. The hell you mean that's too country? <laughs> Alright guys, we got it. Thanks for the hand. Got the jukebox loaded. Uh, there's a 700R4 core in there and a 283 block on the engine stand. Uh, that's all going to slick. He's coming to pick her up tomorrow, so we left the crane there where he can use it tomorrow. Felt like winching the motor up on the trailer was not such a good idea. Sketchy. I guess we're gonna back up to, <laughs> yeah, that's a bad idea. Next, we're gonna back up to 80 gallon compressor and lay it on the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> what could go wrong here? I'd got from the factory way back in the day and I just seen something that made me a little sad. I forgot about that. 2018 it says. SL Ray, KK, Hank, Mama, and me right there. Is that what it says 2018? Man. Yeah, that just got me a little sad walking by there. Look at that little handprint of hot rods. Okay, how old is she there? Uh make me do math. Four four going on five. Little bitty saw that piece and take this with me mm -hmm. there's a little rabbit living back here for a while 
Uh, I don't know if those are rabbit turds or balls, aren't they? I don't know. Something was living underneath there either way. That cat, I haven't seen that cat. Meow. <laughs> Anyhow, I got these sheets of metal from the factory way back in the day. Never used any of it because I'd never justified dragging it out of there. And In fact, I still got new steel in the shop. I need to move to the new shop. So I told Slick if he wanted this, I think that's like around 11 gauge-ish. What's that, quarter inch? Yeah, so good metal. Cleared perfect like it was meant to be. Found a foundation crack. No surprise there. She is all there. I turned it to a parking brake real quick. Gotta make sure you're recording. to move the old international out of there uh, so we can get to our metal racks in there but at the same time i had an idea for a t-shirt that's gonna have the uh shop but that was my first build out of this shop and i wanted to say og uh for all the put fab shop ogs it was here from the old shop and uh underneath the og it'll say original garage uh, something like that is my idea so the vehicle for that one i want to be the first build that happened in here which is the international what do you think about like this kind of cool angle you can see a good side shot of it yeah i don't know if we're gonna be able to fit the whole truck though and then all right there's the angle baby pose it nathan <laughs> <laughs> all right snap dang getting fancy gonna get the aerials why well, can't put them stamp up get work done we're taking <laughs> pictures <laughs> sell them t-shirts damn it <laughs> all right picture complete Fresh rubber right there. It's like building in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. There's a good thing and a bad thing about stocking up on metal, people. Good thing is when you need it, you got it. Bad thing is if you move, you gotta take it. As he said one, two, and then I said screw it, and he said go, and it worked. Okay. There's a price to be being Mr. Metal Collector. like we were in fast forward when we went by but guys we're just that fast if that comes off there we'll know it yeah. shout out to sammy for giving us something else to have to move just playing sammy thanks for the bench again yeah. <laughs> catching them behind the scenes <laughs> he wouldn't drop it at the new place <laughs> yeah hey you guys moving yeah. <laughs> here's some more crap we made her out of quarter inch thick square tubing <laughs> full half inch bottom side just playing guys uh thanks sammy she's solid 
Right here, guys, we got the Pot County Shop Starter Kit. Premium edition. Told Slick you better grab her old setup here. That way he have him a couple water separators and a regulator. Brass tea, that's probably an $8 piece right there. You like them custom custom brackets? Brackets. Bracket tree. Here's my air tool holder. I built that at the uh, factory one weekend. Use the mill and some plastic they had for scrap. You gonna take the air tool holder? Yeah. She lives on. Guys, I used to make a shelf out of anything I had laying around that could make a shelf. That's chained for like hanging your lights. Uh, I'm not sure what these clamps were from. Pro stainless steel, that's probably for brake lines. Tie wired to this. That's 100% brake lines. Yeah. And this little piece of scrap shelf, ain't no telling, but yeah. Boy, I used to have to piece some stuff together. Same with this stuff. Those are all scraps and odds and ends left over pieces. Uh, that's why it's not one long piece. I had this short piece and that piece. This was on that plate they used to stamp out there at the factory, factory and throw away. Oh, see, y'all could tell I didn't do this phone job. Mine would have been much better. <laughs> I don't know, buddy. <laughs> Shoot. Hey, this is looking good. I could come through here now with the mobile flap attack and flush it. You'd never even knew it happened. Paint it gray. Little caulk and paint, and you'd never even know that crack was there. Don't worry about those cracks. I said that crack. I had notched it where it'd go around my metal clad wiring there. Nice. I'm gonna pull down some of this stuff where the whoever the next owner is, they don't have to have crap hanging everywhere. And yeah, guys, I know some of y'all saying y'all's gonna miss the old shop. Uh, the shop got us where we're at. I mean, that's the bottom line. It's been, it was good to us. Uh, but like me and Slick was talking about earlier, he said, you know, well, you've been very transparent the whole time that your goal is to get to a bigger shop, guys. And uh, I would encourage all of y'all, if you got your first little garage, your first shop, if it was like this one built in the late 50s, early 60s, uh, that don't mean you shouldn't care about it, make it yours, whatever. But guys, there's nothing wrong. Well, there's nothing wrong with just being content with what you got. But there's also nothing wrong with pushing yourself and saying, you know what, I'm gonna do better than this. Uh, this is just the first step for me. And then following through with that. And that's what I had done. Uh, it just took a long time, and that's part of it. Not everything comes easy. I need to take that to the other shop. That's actually for a little a bolt bin holder thingy from the Harbor Freighter. What's holding these on? Some nails, probably? So those uh, planks right there, when I first bought the place, there's an old rickety shelf across the front of this, and uh, three of them were the uprights or the shelves, I couldn't remember. And I took them apart, and those planks being the real wood, had a kind of cool look to them. I just nailed them up there. I used to always have it covered in my kind of cooler car parts, I guess. Uh, but yeah, these actually came with the place. Don't worry, I had them suckers lagged in there. You wanna know what's scary? I don't even think I bought these slick. I think they came with some furniture set Ashley had. <laughs> <laughs> Not even great. What kind of furniture comes with those? That's, crazy. That's what I was Baby. Drives good, don't it? She's good, ain't she? Good car. She kind of been pooped on, but she's a good car. I don't know what you did to make them birds mad, but they are ticked at you. Yeah, that may uh, be saying it nice. I don't know what happened. They seen the wagon underneath the tree and gathered up and had a poop, poop palooza. Hey everybody, let's have a shit fest. <laughs> All right, guys, we're kind of wrapping up here. Uh, it's roughly two, three o'clock-ish. Uh, I got to be at volleyball at four. 
or a little after four but before five for sure somewhere in there i gotta find out but we gotta take the compressor and drop it off at slicks we're then gonna trailer out the ever just the trailer we're gonna trailer the trailer out <laughs> <laughs> to the other house probably just drop truck and trailer it can sit there for a day or two till we can unload stuff uh, i don't want to unload it till i'm ready for that stuff to go somewhere where i'm only moving it once the metal we're giving to slick we're gonna cut it with the plasma cutter so he can manhandle it easier at his shop but on the way back from his shop we gotta stop and get the truck because we're gonna take the international out there as well ready break well, i knew you said roughly you wanted it over here so i figured if i could hit that trash can i'd have us pretty close <laughs> Chose right here because we done added on this uh, 220 plug not too long ago. I come over and wired that in for him. So boom, we can go right there. You definitely have plenty of cable. You could pertinent near run that out to the power line. So you could use an oil change, a little paint job. Or a little wipe down, I mean. Yeah, a little wipe down. She might, might be over here. Clean up. She'll clean up dandy. Y'all don't tell Sweet Patina I'm cheating on him with his hand cleaning wipes. We just got the regular old damn whatever mojo special or whatever now he works with more the hand cleaner y'all know what i'm talking about it's the orange stuff ojo ojo mojo's the guy who really does all the stuff behind the scenes over at mordsky's yeah and everyone thinks mordsky does all the work but really he's like he goes on vacation like yeah. four days out of the week drives around and just picks up auction stuff and then mojo's back home actually getting stuff running yeah. and mordsky comes in and he's like hey there boys and girls of the youtube world today deaf dog and i when it should really be like today mojo got this stuff running but i just talked about how much i hate craggers and flexi hoses yeah he's just the yeah, he he's just the somehow the face of the show that's the best face they could find i hate craggers yeah, yeah. Fle flexi hoses sick <laughs> have them on everything i own <laughs> yeah sends a picture of his 36 ford has two of them has four four <laughs> <Flat -headed. laughs> successful compressor drop that is actually a lot easier than i thought it was going to be uh, no further than we had to put it in his shop there that made the job easy like i like uh now go back to the old place pick up old gertrude the international pick them up truck and then whoop, 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 we rally out at the new place and we had to stop already for our first re-strapping uh just got a strap going across them big metal sheets i'm willing to put it and go slow but uh the one sheet shifted a lot and we lost the strap completely so that ain't okay she should be pretty good now man oh man is that a good looking truck i love seeing that thing actually drive guess i used to seeing it on the ground that uh I think it looks good at ride height right there it needs to be a few inches lower now y'all know we barely drive that thing so i told slick slap her in the salvage yard that's all she's good for she's basically a salvage truck at this point drive on that sharp shell that way we can pop them tires perfect all right guys that is it i do believe we went and got us some of our little uh pinkety drinkities or whatever you call them uh, slick done headed inside he's a painting machine he's in there getting after it I'm gonna get in there. Uh, we got some more cleaning up to do, more painting up to do. I'm trying to get that thing ready to go. Uh, did pretty solid progress. I, I don't have no more time this week. We can uh, spend over here. So I'll need to come over here one more weekend or one day next week as we finish up in here and finish cleaning out the g rod. There ain't a whole lot left. Like some of these shelves I pulled out of there that were broken. I need to just chunk them in the dumpster so a little more to haul off around here realtor did come over earlier uh he gave me a ballpark number on where he thought it would be and then said he's going to run some numbers and do some comparables and compare this compare that and he could let me know a more solid number where we should be at this house uh, i would say fortunately things have changed and i'm going to make some money here but there's a flip side to that but things have changed and it costs a lot more money to build that newer place so you know tomato tomato no i don't think that's where you use a saying like that uh yeah we're not 
where it's coming out ahead here, but inflation over the years that makes this place come ahead versus uh, the inflation and how it affected building that new place. We ain't coming out ahead. I ain't dumb. You don't fool me, okay? I know how this works. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, luckily we are at least coming out a little bit ahead, I think, in the long run and not just breaking even on it or whatever. So that takes a little of the, that'll take a little of the sting off of the new place anyhow. But I will probably, y'all been wanting to see a tour inside that place. Uh, we'll probably, I'll probably do that after we get it cleaned up a little more. Uh, a little, little fixing to do in there. Gonna stretch carpet. May have to have some tiles fixed because whoever did the tile work, they did not do it right. And I don't want to give that to the next person as a problem. Uh, just like fixing all the sewer pipe here, I want to turn this thing over in uh, a little bit better shape than I even had it from the start, if possible. So that's my goal to do there. We may go through there and show it. I don't know. It's kind of, it, it don't bother me because obviously we're done living there. Uh, so let me finish getting her cleaned out. Maybe we'll do a walkthrough or something and uh yeah anyhow guys i appreciate y'all watching i appreciate all the support on the merchandise like i said y'all on the box truck mafia shirts you pretty well clean sold us out of them suckers pretty quick and uh we're actually supposed to be working on another box truck mafia design shirt uh, that involved all three that was how our t-shirt guy pictured his design i had a design in mind that i pictured so we may have a, another run of a new design for the box truck mafia i don't know we'll just see how that kind of plays out uh, but thanks for all the support there uh thanks for man just the overwhelming amount of support of watching these videos that uh i guess it's weird i i kind of sat in some today i think seeing them handprints back there got me a little bit and uh pulling the last of the little shelves out the garage i still gotta get the crane out of there no we're not leaving the crane behind we're taking it uh but yeah the support from you guys has made this move uh an expedited part of my life and the reason i say it like that is uh guys i was motivated whether youtube popped off or not i was gonna find a way one day somehow to get a bigger house for my family it was just a goal it had to happen uh but thank thankful i'm thankful to you guys and uh to the youtube doing well where it could happen a lot faster than i thought it was going to happen in my life and i just can't tell you guys thank you enough uh, coming back watching these videos on second channel on the main channel supporting at puddingsfabshop.com uh y'all's always filling my heart up i see some nice comments a lot of times from you guys about how the channel helps you guys out and you guys uh being positive and supporting and uh just seeing my dream i guess kind of like i see it and yeah i don't know y'all fill me up with positivity too and uh I, I can't i can't thank you guys enough okay i said that like 12 times here so i'm on the instagrammer i'm on the patreon i'm on puddingsfabshop.com that's where you get that good merchandise and i will see you next time because i'm on my way inside to give slick a hand where we can get this place tidied up hot damn there's so much bs -ery. we had to start a whole channel for all the extras be sure to go check out puddin's fab shop if you ain't seen that baby yet come on